Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are talking about the variables and its type in a PHP programming language. A variable is a name, unit of data that may be assigned to a value. If the value is modified, the name does not change at that case. Let's suppose I have a variable x and x which is equal to 1. Here, this x is my variable here and this is 1 as the value to this variable and this is our operator. So we will learn about the operator in next upcoming lecture. Some variables are mutable which is manage their value can be changed. Other variables are immutable. This means that their value once assigned cannot be declared or alter after assigning the value. PHP also has the variable and constants, just like other programming languages, such as C, Java, and Visual Basic as well. Variables are the storage space where you can store the value of letter use. They act as the identifier to access the memory location. In PHP, variables names begin with a dollar sign. Whether or where assignment is carried out by using is equal to operator. Furthermore, all the statements end up, end up with the semicolon. That indicate the terminations of the statement. Another benefit of PHP is that we don't need to specify the data type using the keyword like integer, float, doubles or strings as well. You just give it your value. Let's suppose you have to write your integer type value, you have to write your float value or a boolean value etc. Here you can see that firstly I have to write dollar sign. Then let's suppose I have to write variable. All the variable names start with a dollar sign as you can see here on your screen. Variable names are case sensitive. Remember that because the PHP programming language is a case sensitive programming language. This means that let's suppose you here you will write the variable dollar sign and small var and here I am just writing dollar sign and capital var. So the compiler will consider these two as the different variables. All the variables name must start with the letter. Okay, you can see here. You cannot write your variable name like 1, 2, 3. You have to start your name with a letters only. Let's suppose I have to write variable. Then you have to write variable number 1. Then you have to write, let's suppose, variable number 2. So this is the wrong way you have to write your variable. And this is the right way you have to write your variables. The variable names must be contain any space. Like here you can see that here you will write dollar sign then I just write let's suppose first name. So this is not a legal variable name remember that. If you want to write this first name so you have to write first underscore name. So you have to write your name like this. So this is the wrong way you have to declare your variable. Let's look an example here and we will see that how this variables work. So variables are anything that will store some of the memory locations or memory space or some that will allocate some of the space in the memory location. So this is just a variable definition. Okay. Here I just write dollar sign. Then I just write variable and variable which is equal to one. You have to write you have to close your variable with a semicolon sign. And then here I just write that echo and echo here is dollar sign and you can see here I just write and here you can see that I just write capital variable here. So that will not take this variable right here you can see this is just because of here I just write a small variable and here I just write capital variable. Let's just see our, the output here because uh, this is working or not right here okay. So here. I am just going to the browser, run as a Google Chrome. So you can see here, 
we have our error in a line number 11 which is a variable dot php let's just see and let's just go to the compiler and here you can see that this is line number 11 and we have declared a small and the capital variable here so you can see here when you are just writing this small variable here i just go to the browser refresh this so you can see here my variable value here is one hope so you understand now that how we can work with variable this is a one type of variable which is the integer variable right here hope so you understand now that what are the integer variables in a php programming language now just turn to the float points number for float point numbers mean your value must contain let's suppose 2.0 2.4 or 3.5 every point value will be considered as the float number in any programming language here you can see that i just write dollar sign then variable number 2 right here which is equal to here i just write the value of pi which is 3.14 okay and here i just print echo and variable number 2 right here save the code go to the browser refresh so you can see here we have the value right here which is 3.14 right here okay now here you can see that I just go to the browser right here sorry compiler right here and inside this compiler I have to write that this is a value of variable number 3 which is equal to here I just take this variable as the string variable a string variable where you can set your characters I just write this is variable and I just run here the variable number 3 right here so you can see here when I just fresh this so we have an error in line number 13 so where you can see that yes we just missed a semicolon right here when I just refresh so you can see here this is integer type then this is float type and this is here you can see that this is a string type variable right here Hope so you understand now okay now here you can see that we didn't have any line space right here so how to give the line space inside the php so you have to go to the echo right here here i just write this is br right here which means that this is a single line break okay you can see here so when i just go to the browser refresh so you can see here that is shown me to me like this firstly we have the integer type then float type and then string type variables right here now after that you you can also give the boolean types variable as well how we give it let's just see here i just write this is echo okay or here i just write uh, this is let's suppose we have the variable right here which is the variable number four and variable number four which is equal to here i just write that this is the value false here because we take boolean l always as the true value or the false value as well and here i just go to add echo and echo here is i have to call my this variable right here which is variable number four go to the browser refresh so firstly i have to save this then here okay so here we have browser right here yes okay and here at that stage when you are just declaring a boolean so here i'm just not taking this value with this uh, echo here you can see that i just declare or i just define this boolean value right here and here you can see that i just create variable underscore dumb and here i just write that or here i just pass as the variable number four right here so this is variable number four right here so what is the variable dump right here the variable dump function is used to dump information about the variable this functions display the structure information such as type and the value of the given variable arrays and the objects are explored recursively with the value intended 
to show the structure. So for that case, we are using the dump function right here. So this is the keyword of the dump function, which is the variable underscore dump right here. Okay. Here I just copy this and paste it right here. Okay, you can see that. Now I just go to the browser, refresh that, and here you can see that this is a boolean and the value here is false right now. So I just get the data type, which is a boolean here, and the value of that as well, which is the false value. Hope so you understand now that this these are the different types of the variables what we use in a PHP programming language. Here, one thing, one another thing I will tell you about the variables what we are declaring right here. Here you can see that this is the dollar sign, which is you can say that this is our identifier. Identifier means that this is you can know that this is the variable sign, which is the identifier here. Then we have the var which is our variable name right here okay now here i will tell you about the declarations of the variable and give you the knowledge about that here you can see that this complete here is our variable name where we have the declaration and the name as well or where we have the identifier and the name of the variable as well the whole thing this is called the variable name then this is is equal to sign so this is our operator what type of operator is it we will learn about this in the operators lecture but here this is i will tell you that this is the assignment operator what we use here which is is equal to sign then this is one right here ones means that the value what we assign to this variable right here and here this is the colon right here, which is the end of the statement right here in this variable declaration. Hope so you understand now that how we can declare our variable, what are the types of our variables and how we use them. Hope so you understand now. If you have any problem regarding to this lecture, please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture.